In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about tracked changes in Microsoft Word. As always, if you find this content useful and you would like to support the channel, then please let me know by leaving a like on the video. And without further ado, let's get started. To start with, let's go from a perspective of a reviewer, someone who wants to track their changes. So let's jump into Word. Within my Word document, I currently have some dummy text. And let's say I'm reviewing this piece of work and I want to track my changes to show a student my suggestions. To start tracking changes in a Word document, select the Review tab at the top. Then you should see a button that says Track Changes. Click this. From this point on, any changes you make to the document will be tracked. So if I highlight a piece of text and delete it, you will notice a vertical red line has been added here to indicate that there has been a change or a markup from the original version. Currently the view is set to simple markup, but by using this drop down menu here, you can switch to all markup to see the changes you make indicated in red. As you can see, this piece of text I just deleted appears in red and it has also been crossed out to indicate it has been deleted from the original version. As well as tracking text deletions and insertions, Microsoft Word will also track formatting changes. For example, if I italicize a piece of text, you will see a note has been added to the right panel to describe this change. Something else you may wish to add are comments. Comments are useful when you want to add a note to a particular piece of content to explain things further. To add a comment, highlight the desired piece of text and then go to the Review tab, and then select New Comment. A new box will appear to the right where you can then add your comment. As you work through your document to add your changes and suggestions, it can often look rather messy if there are many markups. So you may decide to hide certain markups and you can do this by selecting the Show Markup option here and unticking certain types of markups to hide them. Alternatively, you can use the drop down menu at the top to change the view to Simple Markup. Once you've finished adding all your track changes, you will likely want to turn the track changes off. To do this, select the Review tab and then click the Track Changes button again. So that's the main things you need to be aware of when you're reviewing work. Let me next explain all the things you should consider when receiving work that has tracked changes. For example, looking at it from a student's perspective. There are a few things I suggest that you do. The first is to change the view to show all markups. This way you can clearly see all of the suggestions. Also ensure all of the types of markups are shown. Next, select the Reviewing Pane button. This will open a new pane to the left, which lists all of the revisions or track changes. If you'd rather have this pane shown horizontally, then select the down arrow next to the button and select the horizontal option. I'm going to keep the vertical option for this demonstration. It's then a case of working your way through this list of revisions to either accept the change if you agree with it, or reject the change if you disagree with it. To accept or reject a track change, you can simply select it in the reviewing pane or in the document itself, then go to the Review tab, and within the Changes area, select the Accept button to confirm the change, or the Reject button if you want to remove the change. Another way you can accept or reject a track change is to simply right-click on the change within the document, and select the appropriate action. If you'd prefer to accept all track changes instead of going through them one by one, then select the down arrow under the Accept button and either select the Accept All Changes option or the Accept All Changes and Stop Tracking option to also turn off track changes. It's also worth noting that you can do the opposite and reject all changes by selecting the arrow next to the Reject button. So that's everything you should consider about track changes, but what about dealing with comments? When it comes to addressing comments in a Word document, you have a few options. You can either reply to the comment by selecting the reply option and filling out your response, or say you have addressed the comment, you can hit the resolve button. This will keep the comment in the document for reference and simply grey it out. This will then show that you have addressed the comment. Alternatively, you may wish to delete the comment altogether. To do this, simply right click on the comment and then select the delete comment option. And there you have it. You now know how to add and remove track changes and comments in a Microsoft Word document. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. 
Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.